Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be on booth blend shapes, how to alter them and how to apply them. I know a lot of people are wondering how I get my face edits from this to this. Now this is, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in the Unity Prospect, not in the Blender Prospect. This is going to be through Unity and Blend Shapes. This works with almost every booth model that I know, but the amount of blend shapes that may be on a particular model is solely up to the amount that a creator gives you. So the amount of customizability that I have now might not be the amount that you have. It's solely dependent on the creator. So so an unfortunate update, as I do know I roll out videos semi-slowly nowadays, they are going to be a bit slower for a while now. Um, my mic on this is almost kaput, it's almost done, and until I can buy a new mic, I won't be able to record the quality of videos I feel confident in putting out to you guys. I have a new headset, I tried to record a video. I could not stand the audio, it was horrible, so I switched back to this headset, my old headset, so until I can upgrade, videos are going to be coming out even slower than they already are, and I'm really sorry for that, but I hope you guys can understand. In this economy, it's a little bit of a struggle, but without further ado, let's get into it. So for this specifically, you are going to need your model and one other thing. I will be linking this in the description uh, below along with the model that you are seeing in the video, which is by Jingo. So I'm going to be giving you guys in the link in the description a blend shape copier by F4A. I know there are a lot of different blend shape copiers and a lot of different ways to go about this, but this one is the best. I have found it is free easy to use, simple, self-explanatory. So I prefer to use this and I will be showing you guys how I use this to edit my blend shapes. So I would download this blend shape copier, you know, drop a support for them, very good program. But we come back to Unity and we open up our files. You are going to see in your files, it's gonna say booth package, drag and drop open the booth package little folder and there's going to be a blend shape copier folder make sure you drag and drop that entire folder into your assets down here because unlike other like unity project or assets it's not going to be a unity like a little unity project that you can drag and drop into your own it is going to be a folder make sure you drag and drop that folder into here that is what you need once you have that folder in here you are going to take your model that you are editing you are going to click on it and you are going to click on the head whoops so we're going to scroll all the way to the top and you are going to see a tab underneath bounds that says blend shapes you are going to drop that down now from here this is completely up to you how you want to edit your model the amount of customizing you want for it and whatnot this is completely up to you and the amount your model provides for you so what you're going to do i will yeah i'll just do something quick here Mm, let's do some of this. Let's make a sad. Let's pull. Who knows? Let's morph the eyes really far down. We'll give it like a chibi look. So here's the face edit, let's say, that I want. I've spent all of my time editing this face. I know a lot of people avoid editing the face because when they go into game and they decide to use their expressions, their expressions or their gestures are going to morph it back and it's going to look weird and it's really complicated. That's where the blend shape copier comes. So we're going to come to the very top of our head blend shapes and where it says skinned mesh renderer, we're going to come to the three dots on the very far right hand side. So come click them and then click copy blend shapes. This is a great but this is a great thing to do if you're making multiple iterations of a model and you just want to copy your same facial blend shapes throughout all of them without having to pull up all the settings, type them in, go through every single one of them. It's extremely strenuous if you've done a lot of edits and your model has a lot of blend shapes. This is all also super helpful when you have edited a model 
Um, and you are wanting to paste the blend shapes along the different expressions. So how we are going to do that is we have our base face here and we want to apply the same base face to our expressions. We are going to click our model in the hierarchy system on the left hand side and we're going to go back to the right hand side underneath animator where it says controller. We are going to want to put our FX controller in. We want the FX layer that is having our expressions on them. An easy way to find out your FX layer is to scroll down all the way to base underneath playable layers and click FX. That is going to take us to the asset folder that holds our FX layer. We can scroll to the very top, drag and drop that into our animator controller and it'll pop up right there. If we already knew what it was, we could just click this circle here and then apply it from here. Now we have our animation tab down here that shows all of our animations for our avatar. Now if you do not see this tab, come to the top of the entire screen, click window, click animation, and then click animation again, or you can do control six as the shortcut provides you. But I like to do it that way just so everyone knows the location of it. From there, we are going to open our little animation here. So whatever your animation name is here, there'll be a little arrow. You can just click that, and that is going to show up the entire list of all your animations. From here, what you're going to do is you are going to click on one of your expressions. So, ooh, sorry, expressions. We're gonna move our uh, avatar over here, and we are going to click preview. So here is my expression right here. Now this expression that is being used right here partially has the same blend shapes copied over from this face that I've done here. But let's say that I want to apply this to this face and how I've edited it. What we're going to do is we're going to click preview or you can just click record or you can do preview and record. After you've done that, you are going to click on the face. All right, we're going to click on the face. There we go. <laughs> we're going to record love unity here and we are going to come to the same place of the skin mesh renderer click on those three dots yet again and we can do this one of three ways we can copy blend shapes strictly which is going to revert everything or we can copy blend shape by name meaning that it's going to revert the blend shapes by their name or copy blend shapes only by non-zero values, meaning that the blend shapes that have not been reverted, they are going to change those numbers. It's completely up to you, dependent on what you want, whether or not you want to edit the expressions yourself. But after you've done copying that over and editing the expression that you want, you are going to hit the unrecord button. I'm pretty sure my face reverted back to its deep. No, there we go. It's fine. <laughs> but here we go. Now, every time that we click on that animation, it is going to not only hold the same blend shapes we had for the default part of the model, it is now going to hold the blend shapes that we've added for the expression part of the model. That is the very basic way of doing it. Now, before I close off this video, one last tip of advice here. We are going to click on the avatar in the hierarchy system on the left hand side again, come back to the FX controller, click on it, and then click delete. We never want our FX controller to be in the animator when we are uploading the avatar as that could break specific things. I really hope this helped you kind of understand the easiest way to go about editing your booth model phase. I know a lot of people were hesitant about it, Please watch over the video again if you are going through this one by one because I know it's a lot of steps, a lot of steps fast. I try to keep the video short, concise, sweet, simple, and explanatory. A little tip for Western models, you may not have the same amount of blend shapes. I find that Western model heads have a significantly less size of blend shapes, so this method may not be all too useful for you. Although it's still used across Western models, it's still used across booth models, it's used across every model in general, it's just good to have. Sometimes you don't need to copy those blend shapes over into your expressions, but it's good just in case. This is for the people that do need to do that. You know, take this video as you will, piece it apart for what you need. I really hope this helped and brought some creativity.